hello students so yesterday we completed the chapter from uh, up to here through them uh, through to them uh, this chapter we are studying is portrait of a lady by kushwan singh we have done up to here now we are going to start from this point a turning point okay when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us that was a turning point in our friendship okay yesterday we saw that his parents the protagonist parents went uh, went to city to settle there and when they got settled there they sent someone or they sent a letter to make them come to city who the protagonist the lead and the grandmother and that was a turning point in our friendship and that was a changing changing thing changing scenario in their friendship now although we shared the same room my grandmother no longer came to school with me obviously they settled in uh, in city and uh, they both shared the same room this also represents uh, that cities are costly and uh, one have to share room with someone now they both were sharing room and since he was a child also the grandmother was always there by his um, by his side but the grandmother no longer came to school with him uh, with me but basically uh, grandmother cannot go to his school because of some restriction and uh, uh, since there is no uh there is no school that was near the temple why she was going to school before because the school was in the temple the school was uh, basically run by the priest now he was going to english school i used to go to an english school in a motor bus now he was go- he is going Uh, with a motor bus and since grandmother cannot go into motor bus either uh, here is another cause there were no dogs in the streets now cities are clean there were no dogs on the streets uh, she took to feeding sparrows in courtyard of our city house since there was no uh, no dogs and she used to feed uh, steel chapatis to these dogs and since there is no dog there is no still chapati now she uh, she changed her uh, her habit and she she started feeding sparrows in the courtyard of uh, or uh, in the city house as the years rolled by we saw less of each other since he was, he is going to english school and he uh, he is having a busy schedule so they uh, they were encountering each other less and less okay less and less okay for some time she continued to wake me up for some time she continued to wake me up and get me ready for the school when i came back she would ask me what the teacher had taught me taught me okay now for some time the uh, especially during the starting time she continued to wake him up wake wake the protagonist up and get him ready for the school and when he came back from the school she asked she asked him what the teacher had taught and uh, the protagonist khushwan singh would tell her english words little things of western science and learning and few are, a few examples are the law of gravity what is law of gravity it was proposed by newton and uh, w- what it is when uh, the two objects uh, attract each other okay the formula is force between them will be g m m by r square small m larger m they both will experience a force and the mass of 
one will be greater mass of another will be smaller and this radius is distance between the uh, between the centers of the two object this is r okay let's say this is m this is m okay okay it is just it, okay it is topic of physics we'll just leave that uh, next archimedes principle what is archimedes principle it was discovered during the classical classical greek period archimedes discovered it and uh, what is the principle k basically buoyancy force it is theory of buoyancy like when an object is submerged in water the water exerts a force equals to the weight of this object and in case of volume if the object goes down it displaces the same amount of water equals to his uh, its volume okay for uh, eureka eureka was from this act the world being round he also propose uh, says that they also teach that the world the gl world is globe the globe is round global uh, the globe is round not flat etc this made her unhappy now the grandmother was unhappy she could not help me with my lesson because she could not help him with his lesson because he was he is studying is studying western sciences she did not believe in the things they taught at english school she did not believe because uh, since she was old so with age people become very resistant they they do not change their beliefs because their mind is that much rigid and was distressed that there was no teaching about god now she was distressed because the, the school was not teaching any religious material or did not not teaching about god and scripture or the religious writings one day i announced that we were being given music lesson music lessons now uh, one day uh, the protagonist kushan singh says to uh, his grandmother that the school is giving him uh, music lessons and now she was very very disturbed why she was disturbed because to her music had lewd association now her mind has uh, had associated music with lewd things lacking moral characters and uh, it was basically monopoly of heralds and beggars it was uh, it was always sung by uh, heralds yani uh, women in brothels or the beggars who are poor heralds simply, uh, simply heralds are uh, basically women who used to have sex for money and not meant for gentle folk now music is not meant for gentle folk because during her time uh, the music was being used by these people and her, her mind associated music with harlots and beggars she said nothing but her silence meant disapproval now she was silent and silently she disapproved everything she disapproved of learning of western sciences she is uh, uh, not teaching about god and teaching about music she was disappointed at all these she rarely uh, she rarely talked to me after that why because he was not studying according to her norms <coughs> now next when i went to the univer went to university when i went to university i was given a room of my own now he was given a room of his own the common link of friendship was snapped now when he went to university he he got he had more load he had more pressure or load of education so he got his separate room in the house and the common link uh, of friendship was snapped 
was broken. My grandmother accepted her seclusion with the resignation. Now she accepted that she is now being alone and she resigned of the friendship. She rarely left her spinning wheel to talk to anyone. Now she was always using her spinning wheel. What is a spinning wheel? The one used by Mahatma Gandhi to make strings from cotton. You must have seen this. Okay. This is a spinning wheel. From sunrise to sunset, she sat by her wheel spinning and reciting pairs. Now she was uh, all the time spending. Uh, she she was spending all the, all of her time on a spinning wheel from and reciting pair, prayers from sunrise to the sunset. Yani all day. Only in the afternoon, she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows. Now, when she was uh, feeding the sparrows in the afternoon, while she sat in the veranda breaking the bread into little bits hundreds of little birds collected round her creating a veritable bedlam of chirpins okay now she was breaking the bread the chapati or bread into little bits or crumbs little crumbs or little bits little pieces she was breaking into little pieces and hundreds of birds many birds hundreds of birds collected around her they surrounded her and created a veritable bedlam of chirpings veritable bedlam means basically and actual state of chaos they were all were making sound of choo 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 and it was very chaotic some came and perched on her legs now few birds came on her legs <coughs> sat on her legs and others on her shoulders some even sat on her head now some sat on uh, sat on her head also she smiled but never shooed them away she she never she never shooed them away shoo shoo she never did that she always smiled and it used to be the happiest half hour of the day for her now she used to she she used to, uh, it used to be happiest half hour of the uh, of the day for her for how much time she was feeding sparrows for half an hour means 30 minutes when i decided to go abroad for further studies now the writer is going from university to foreign for further studies i was sure my grandmother would be upset now he was sure that grandmother would be upset. I would be away for five years. Now he would be away for five years. And, her, and at her age, one could never tell. What does, what does this mean? That he would be away for five years, but at her age, no one could say that she would survive five years or not. She might die. So both were uncertain that they would see each, uh, they will see each other or not but my grandmother could now he, he is also saying that at old age no one could uh, uh, one could never tell that one might survive or not but he's sure that his grandmother could survive she was uh, he was so sure of her of his grandmother she was not even sentimental she was not emotional that he was going away in foreign country for studying uh, and she, he will be uh, long gone for five years she came to leave me at the railway station now the grandmother came to railway station to leave him but did not talk she didn't spoke a word or show any emotion so didn't show any emotion because it might disturb the writer and he might show a reluctant behavior going to foreign country show so uh, grandmother crumbled her emotions her lips moved in prayer 
her mind was lost in prayer now her lips moved in prayer she was murmuring the prayers and her mind was busy in prayer why because she had to have some hobby so that she could keep herself busy because he is she is losing the writer who is her love of her love of life her fingers were busy telling the beads of her rosary she is again counting uh, uh, going through the beads of the rosary silently she kissed my forehead no silently she kissed the protagonist forehead and when i left i cherished the moist imprint as perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us now he said that i cherished i enjoyed the moist imprint of her lips on his forehead and it was the last sign of physical contact between us and then they apart but that was not so he expected this but that was not so after 5 years i came back home after 5 years he came back home the writer quick come back came back home and was met by her at the station now she also came to the station to receive him she did not look a day older uh, again uh, as the this is the same line this is the same expression that was represented in the first line of the prose she still had no time for words now she again she is she is speechless she is not speaking a word and while she clasped me in her arms i could hear her reciting her prayers now she hugged him tightly clasped hugged him tightly and he, uh, so tired that the writer could hear her uh, her reciting prayers even on the first day of my arrival her happiest moment were with the spar- with her sparrows now uh, when the writer came he observed that the grandmother is very much busy with the sparrows and it, it is still the happiest moment of her day whom she fed and with free free willus rebukes okay see sometimes rebukes means uh, basically um, condemn or censure seriously uh, so she was feeding sparrows but sometimes she used to uh, censure them for some specific behavior okay in the evening a change came over her after the writer returned in the evening he observed a special change that came into her she did not pray now she was doing prayer all the time but now today she did not pray she collected the women of neighborhood got an old drum and started to sing now she collected the women of neighborhood and got an old drum and he started to sing and he started beating that drum for several hours uh, for several hours he thumbed the shagging shagging means loosen uh, thumbed uh, means basically be started beating the loosened skin of dilapidated drum dilapidated means in a deplorable, deplorable condition in a poor condition deplorable condition the drum was in deplorable condition that's why the skin was sagging means loosen the leather uh, was loosen and what uh, what she sang she sang of home coming of warriors we had to persuade her now they have they had to persuade her they had to uh, convince her to stop to avoid overstraining so that she could not uh, she could not overstrain her that was the first time since uh, since i had known her that she did not pray now the writer said this was an strange behavior as long as the writer knew him knew her she always prayed but that day in the evening she didn't prayed and what she did she started beating a drum that was in poor condition and she sang 
द होम कमिंग ऑफ वॉरियर सॉन्ग द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग शी वॉज एल शी वॉज टेक एन एल द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग शी वॉज एल बिकॉज शी हैड ओवर स्ट्रेंड हर सेल्फ इट वॉज अ माइल्ड फीवर एंड द डॉक्टर टोल्ड अस दैट इट वुड गो ना डॉक्टर केम एंड विजिटेड देयर हाउस एंड सेड ओके शी वुड बी फाइन बट ग्रैंड मदर थॉट डिफरेंटली बट ग्रैंड मदर न्यू दैट नो शी इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट बेटर she told us that her end was near now she told them that her end was near she is going to die she said that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray now she, uh, she said that a uh, few hours before the close of last matlab uh, she uh, she declared that she, uh, her end is near few hours before and then she omitted to pray she stopped praying and she was not going to waste any more time talking to us now she also stopped talking to us we protested now we said no grandma you you are going to uh, survive and hold on but she ignored our protest because she was very firm she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads now again she started repeating the process uh, she she was praying and telling her beads she was uh, going through the beads even before we could suspect her lips stopped now even before we could uh, uh, suspect that oh she is uh, she will survive few more hours but uh, she did not met everyone's expectation and she stopped moving the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers now uh, she's dead a peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead now she was dead uh, we lifted her off the bed now they lifted her off the bed and as is customary and as per the customs laid her on a ground and laid her on the ground now they laid her on the ground and covered her with red shroud basically cloth used for burial used in funeral so or burial or rites after few hours of mourning now the everybody was crying we left her alone to make arrangements now we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral now they have to do the funeral last rites in the evening we went to her room uh, with a crude stretcher to take her to be cremated a crude stretcher basically a stretcher or a, a bed that is made from bamboo you must have seen that a sun was it is used in hindu religion the sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with blaze of golden light now the uh, the sun uh, lit uh, lit lit her room and veranda with blaze of golden light basically it 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 represents transition of soul from earth to heaven we stopped half way in the courtyard all over the veranda and her room right up to the up, up to where she lay dead and a stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrow sat scattered on the floor now thousands of uh, thousands of uh, sparrows came to visit her for the last time and she was laying dead she was wrapped in red shroud and was laying on crude stretcher uh, when they were taking her from uh, on crude stretcher they stopped in half courtyard half a courtyard and the sparrows scattered on the floor there was no chirping now they were not 
making any sound we felt sorry for the birds now we felt we also felt sorry for the birds and my mother fetched some bread for them now the writer's mother came up with some bread but and she also uh, broke it into little crumbs into little pieces the way grandmother used to as the grandmother used to do it and threw it to them threw it threw it to the sparrows but the sparrows took no in notice of the bread now the sparrows were also very much in grief now they were also in some uh, grief so they did not uh, say did not took any notice to the bread when we carried my grandmother's corpse off now when they started to take away the uh, grandmother's body sparrows flew away quietly without making any so uh, any sound next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin now the small pieces of bread breads were wiped off the ground next morning it uh, basically represents the last omission of physical presence of grandmother okay this marks the end of the chapter if anyone is having any doubt they can ask me in the next video in the next video lecture we will start another chapter you can go through all these uh, things the questions they are asking and i think you will be able to understand them easily if you are having any doubt you may ask it in the comment and i will make a separate video if the problems are too many thank you